Hey guys, Dennis Clark here. Coming at you with another big game setup video. This year I got something a little bit different for the dive dam. As you can see I've changed the front of it around. I added a rail on top of a rail. The reason I did this was so that you could still remove the barrel. Unlike how they know they have like an extender but the problem is it blocks that part of the barrel. That's why I like the lighter version of it better because you can still remove it especially if it's a two piece you don't want one piece coming out and then you only get the other piece stuck in there so I created this as a solution and I also want to show you the camera on there this was the uh, per contour no prime sorry this is the R7 prime the one I was playing the uh, video with for a big game 2015 but I want to pretty much show you what it looked like on the gun for this year so as you can see I can switch it around put it forward towards me so you can see my face as I'm playing I also got this a new addition here this is a camera with a 5x zoom I'd like to personally thank Mike McKenzie for suggesting this camera and I will be trying it out on this big game coming next week as you can see I just popped the lens cap this is the camera also it's got a laser in it built in I'm not allowed to use that but it's another feature I may just end up taping it over um, I thought it was kinda cool and that I could use that uh, what else oh yes I came up with a trick for having a sling on your gun for a paintball uh, what I've noticed with my personal play when I was using MagFed was that sometimes this gets in the way when you're trying to reload. It's like, what? No, go to the left. But I came up with this trick. If you go like this, you go over the stock, then it's not in your way anymore. So I can go. Just keep going like that all day. It's if I decide not to use the sling. Also, I've made this lighter than it previously was. I know I had the light and the grip, but this is a lot lighter. This grip was an airsoft grip. Usually it was originally designed to have batteries inside, so this whole part right here is hollow. So what I ended up doing was this is piece that comes out, and it's usually for batteries holding, but I find it's kind of loose, it just falls out. So I ended up hot gluing that piece in there. So that piece is not coming out anytime soon, and it's lighter than what the real version would be. Um, what else can I show you? Oh yes, I created a mod for the paintball mask. I'm going to switch cameras in a second here, guys, and show you the changes I've made to Drew's design on the mask. Unfortunately, I'm using the mask for the video right now so I'm going to have to edit this and I apologize for the audio quality as the cameras have different audio qualities so I hope I'm not blasting anyone's ears out oh the other thing is for this big game unfortunately I'm not going to be able to use first strikes there was some type of insurance nonsense going on at the fields part of business so I will only be using regular paintballs unfortunately and the metadime I can't really use that anymore because it broke it's at the point of where I've used it so much that it doesn't work it's not worth carrying out there anymore unless I'm able to find a new one which is an issue in this day and time because the company itself is not around anymore you'd have to be really lucky to find one that's in working condition and even then it would degrade over time unfortunately so I'm gonna switch cameras right here and you're gonna see the mask improvements for this year the mask here as you can see I've made it more lower more compact it doesn't have the wire coming out the back anymore because I've personally had many problems with rechargeable batteries I don't know if it's where I'm at but I've had issues many many issues with cameras with rechargeable batteries which by the way that reminds me this guy on the new camera it's not using rechargeable batteries 
you can pull this part right out here. The battery is right there, and the HD card is right here in the front. Yeah, not the smartest idea in my opinion because it may get hit, but it's there. It's easy to get to. I'm very happy that this is not a rechargeable, so that should be easy. So back to the camera. As I said, I was lower than it was before. I'll just give you a turn view to see what I've done. I've pretty much reversed this piece right here on the bottom. It used to be like on the top here and I pushed it in like that. Oh, so I got a new mask finally. Because that thing was kind of crapping out. I made the mistake of burning part of the foam when I was trying to put this together because there's a plastic piece, you can kind of see it right there, that has sticky foam. But I noticed I like had to cut this whole part down partially by sawing it towards the side with a sander. And then it fit in there. So it's nice and snug, it's not going anywhere anytime soon. And I'll show you what it looks like on the mask, on my head. So you get an idea of the low profile that it has. So as you can see, that's much lower profile than it was before. It's not sticking up and it is where it should be. That's all I got. The setups are similar to what it was last year. Check out 2015's video for Big Game if you want to see the full setup. That's all I've changed so far. I may go and decide to do a speedball gun setup for the second day. Depends on how I feel and if it's raining. But if you guys haven't seen it or signed up for it, big game. It's next week and it's going to be good, man. We're playing on a whole new field that has been created by Cousins. It's They took over some type of golf course and it's something like 80, uh, it's like 80 acres where the last paintball field was like 44. Um, the original Cousins, the one I used to play at before they shut down, they were about 88 acres, so yeah, you'd get lost in there. This is about as big. Oh, I'm going to be getting lost possibly in the woods, and it should be a lot of fun. But check it out, Cousins Big Game. It's on Cousins' website if you guys want to go to it. I hope to see you guys there, and have a good one, guys. <laughs>